Don't be taking people's chickens, tagging their watering can. Stop it now. Only in California, I guess. Do not take off. Not Bubba. Bubbles. Goad. If I'm Pokemon. Got to report a little accident now. Come on, whip. Somebody done removed my clothes. Well, hey, good morning. Well, today uh, is a day off. <laughs> I love that. Boy, the sound of that feels good. I haven't had a day off in almost two weeks. Uh, not every day at the fair. I've been setting up on days and uh, traveling days, but uh, which meant 10, 12 hours a day driving and stuff like that. So this is the first day just not to have to do anything. So guess what? I'm going to get caught up on my vip blogging. <laughs> That'll be a good thing, huh? I know y'all was waiting on all my blogs to come through because y'all have been a little delayed. It's been pretty busy. I've been working some late hours, like, you know, from, to, I think tomorrow I start at 9 o'clock in the morning. I go to 10, 10 or 11 at night. It's pretty crazy. So uh, the school days is kicking in, and all the, the kiddos come over uh, for kid days, I guess. <laughs> so they'll be showing up, and uh, we got to get there a little earlier so they can bring buses and buses up then. So, well, um, oh, for exciting news, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know how exciting it is. Frustrating. Uh, somebody come and tagged with a paint, you know, like a paint tin or something. They tagged uh, one of my animals as uh, watering cans. I'm glad it was just a little sex about this big and had white paint on it. Had some word on it I couldn't understand. It was bad handwriting. It was worse than mine. <laughs> but the case was uh, I got to scrubbing it when, my mark, when I was cleaning. I got to scrubbing it, so I scri scrubbed it all down and. And uh, I didn't even report. I should have took a picture of it because then I'd had something to show. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and cleaned it up and, and uh, told the people down there at security about it again. And So, yeah, that's two things that's happened to Old Barn. Somebody's not been gooder to it. And so I want to invite people to be gooder in the world. I mean, don't be taking people's chickens. And don't be uh, tagging their watering can. If you're the type of person that go do that, stop it now. It's foolishness. Don't make no sense to do that. It ain't your place to tag. It ain't your thing to take. You know what I'm saying? So be gooder in the world. And one way to be gooder in the world is to not take things that belong to other people. You know what I'm saying? It just makes sense. I hope I hope y'all understand that. So I'm sure those that watches this on a regular basis does, but maybe it'll get in the hands of people that don't understand that. Maybe they need to hear the little pep talk. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to bring goodness in the world. Because it's inside your heart. It really is. But you gotta you gotta believe that it's there. Some people don't think it's there or they think, well, because of my situation that uh, I don't have the things that other people have. But it's not true. You do. It's all inside you. I don't care what your situation is. You can go inside and look for the goodness and live by that goodness inside. So I just want to encourage you to do that. And go, don't be tagging stuff and stealing stuff. You know what I'm saying? This ain't cool. It ain't goodness. All right. Talk to you later. Well, I had to go on down there to that maintenance office and get me another... Did not disturb sign because the last one got taken right out my door. Probably should have had on there, do not take also, <laughs> because they took it. They didn't disturb, but they sure took it. So, maid come knocking on my door this morning. She didn't wake me up, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, got me a new one, so it's going to go right back in there. Look. Right where it belongs. <laughs> if I can't get in with that thing in there, I'm going to take it out. There we go. Go on in there now. There's the magic. All right, for later. So we'll fit in a Walmart store right down the road from where I'm staying in the hotel. And, uh, well, it just seems like they ain't got nothing but uh, groceries in this Walmart. I'm looking all over the place for them. Groceries, groceries, groceries. I can't figure out where all the other stuff is. I'm trying to find some bubbles for the machine. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? You don't normally see escalators up in a Walmart. What's this? What am I supposed to do? Hold on. I put my car in there. Come on. <laughs> Boy, that's fancy, huh? Let's see how this works. Look at there. My car's going up the escalator. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, she. Oh, boy. Let's chase it, because ain't no telling what's going to happen. I ain't never seen that in my whole born life. Have you ever seen that? I think I got my bananas all bruised, so. Look at there. Boy, is that something else. 
Now, tell me what, have you ever seen something like that? Only in California, I guess. They got fancy stuff over here because they're Californians and stuff. Builds a Walmart on two floors so that uh, people can have fancy elevators in there. Because they're trying to impress people. I know what's going on. <laughs> they're trying to impress people all their fancy uh, escalators that even hold a cart. Oh, look, <laughs> they got elevators too. I thought that's what I was going to have to take up for a moment. But I guess you got an escalator system working. You don't need to do all that elevator stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, let me go see if I can find some bubbles. Not bubba, bubbles. Kind of sounds like, don't it? Well, I forgot the lemons downstairs, so I gotta go back down. Let's see if this thing works going downhill too. <laughs> Just like it does. Or oh, if that thing goes flying down that hill, well, there's gonna be people in trouble. Look at that. <laughs> well, that's all. Look, there's other people doing it. I wonder if they's as excited and, uh, as I am. The days can do that too. There's mine. There's that other person. The buggies are waving at each other as they pass. <laughs> boy, that's something. Boy, I tell you what, I can't get enough of this. We're going to have to go through there up and, da up and down again a few times else. I'm get my little cart and off to get some lemons. Because I run out, you know what I'm saying? Get a little more squeeze squeeze. You know how it is. The bubba's got to have a squeeze squeeze. <laughs> boy, I'm having some fun. All right, the youngins of mine are gonna really like this, what I'm about to show them. Look at there. So I went to Target, or I should say go to Target. There's a hint, what I'm gonna find. Go to Target and find Pokemon. <laughs> Look at there, the giant Pokemon ball. Right there in front of Target, the two of them. That's crazy, huh? Right at Target. <laughs> now I'm up in uh, the Target because I was looking for some bubbles and guess what, I found them. Look. Even though I had them on clearance. Look, I got a whole basket full of them. Uh, I got all but three of them. I ain't gonna be a hog. There's some people that might want to use them, but how many bottles is that? Three times four, that's 12 bottles. That should get me through the fire. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna clear them out. <laughs> Sorry about that, people that might be coming to look for them. But y'all ain't got a sedgy barn, you gotta fill up. When you got a sedgy barn, I'll leave you some. I'll leave that little bottle. <laughs> yeah, there we go, lots of bubbles. Oh, these things are heavy. Never know bubbles was heavy. I thought bubbles was real light. <laughs> okay, you know me. Sometimes I just say stuff because it comes to my mind <laughs> how the bubble works, you know? So I got a good old friend. Her name's uh, Kara Lee. And uh, she lives over here in Orange. Orange. Not Texas, but over in California. She's always calling me the, the ice man because I like to fill up my ice chest with ice because that's what you're supposed to put in an ice chest is ice. Now I should guess she's gonna call me the Bubble Man. <laughs> Not, yeah, well, in addition to Bubba Man, it's Bubble Man. <laughs> Boy, it's two jokes in one day. <laughs> Boy, y'all are laughing, aren't you? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, I'm just getting more hilarious as I go. I just noticed that the bubbles are a whole lot more pretty out right here in the daytime and the sun's hitting the tops of them. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Boy, I tell you, the little things that make us all happy. Makes it makes life a little gooder, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was checking out the uh, the lady at the register. I asked her, I said, you ever seen anybody ring up $56 worth of bubbles? <laughs> she goes, no. I'm like, well, you ain't the bubba. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only the bubba does that. And if you got a such a barn in your backyard or something you're trying to fill up, <laughs> you gotta have these. Well, I should have thought this through a little better. I can't get over that curve with these bubbles. <laughs> I'm gonna have to haul them. There's a truck and there's a curve in the way. Oh boy, you have to carry them a little further. Well, you gotta report a little accident now. So I opened the back door to fill up these bubbles and the soda, I don't drink these things, but the soda rolled out, it was right there and hit the floor and look, I'm all wet with soda. I hope I don't stain these new, new pants. Boy, that's a mess, huh? My goodness. My goodness. Tell you what. That's no good. But I'm going to be gooder about it. Hey, it's laundry time. Let me see if I'm laundry done. Hey, what's this? Somebody done removed my clothes. Wait. Huh. Wait. Somebody done removed my clothes and put it in the dryer and started it. 
Oh, you know, I'm always talking about finding goodness in the world. And when people do something like that, I mean, he didn't just put it out on the counter and let it all stay wet and get all nasty and stuff. He put it in the water, in the dryer and started it with his own money. I might have to leave a little note for the old boy because that was mighty kind and mighty good. You know what I'm saying? All right, so when that old boy comes back here to move his clothes out of there, he's going to find a little note from Bubba Gooder saying, hey, thanks a lot and come see me. And, oh, and by the way, I blogged on it. <laughs> hey, what's, what's going on? Oh, hey. Oh, are you the one that moved over my stuff? Well, I did. You left it in here for about two hours. I know. I was editing my videos. I'm real sorry there, fella. I appreciate it. Hey, what's your name? My name is Tom. Tom? Well, I appreciate it. My name's Bubba Gutter, and I was just coming down here to change my clothes, and I, I realized that you put them in the dryer for me. Well, that's mighty just, kind of you. Just seemed like the right thing to do. Well, I tell you what. Boy, you don't see that kind of goodness in the world these days anymore. So what are you doing over here in L.A. anyway? What are you doing? I'm riding a motorcycle. I'm headed to Hold Mexico. on, hold on a second there. You are riding a motorcycle? Yes, sir. What kinds of motorcycle? Triumph Tiger 800 XC. And where is you from? Austin, Texas. Uh-uh, no way. You from Texas like me? Yep, sure does. Well, that explains a lot for all that goodness inside. You know what I'm saying? I do. <laughs> so tell me, where are you going on a ride? Well, I'm headed to Leon, Mexico. It's going to take me about four or five days to get there. Woo, doggy, I like having long rides. You're long distance riding, I call it. It's going to be a blast. I've, this will be my third trip to Mexico in a year and a half. And you was doing some other kind of riding, too, in the midst of all this? I did. I rode all the way to the tip of South America. Oh, now, wait a minute. Way down south like that? Like but, way wow. down south. Way, Woo. way south. As far south as you can go in the entire world. Boy, that, that's, not a, that's really cool, man. Did you enjoy yourself? I had a blast. It was awesome. Did you run over any snakes in the road or anything crazy like that? No, but I was with eight Brazilian guys, and one of them hit a llama. Oh, well, he, a llama! <laughs> the llama didn't fare too well, and neither did his bike. Oh. He was he was not hurt, but uh, we left him behind three thousand miles from home. Oh my goodness! So, the llama was three thousand miles from home, or a biker? No, the Brazilian. Oh, okay, <laughs> that makes sense now. There's a little confusion there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We'll have to find him on uh, Facebook. You on Facebook, right? Yes, sir. If you're not on Facebook, you're really not. Uh, one of them Facebookers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, we're going to keep up with you and uh, follow your trips, you know, and stuff like that. My my fans over there like watching people with a lot of goodness inside. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because we all got it. You know what I'm saying? We just somehow got to find it. We'll dig a little deeper for some people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you there, sir. Yes, sir. Have a good one now. Thank you. All right. See you later. All right. Take care. Hey, so I went up on Facebook to look up that old boy Tom. And uh, here he is, right here. He's uh, right here on Facebook. And uh, he, in fact, he, he made a post about about the little note that I left him. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Not only is the fella like good about putting somebody's clothes in the washer and dryer, then he's gonna say what what happened on top of that on this whole friend page. I thought that was pretty cool. So here's what he says: After a long, hot, 400 mile ride through the California desert. I arrived at the hotel, needing to do some laundry. To my dismay, the hotel only had one washer and dryer. For purely selfish reasons, I put someone's uh, wash in the dryer and started the dryer. Well, I don't think I was selfish at all. Hoping to, the person would, would be okay with that, we crossed paths a little later, and it turned out to be uh, my cousin Dave. Well, it's me and cousin Dave. And uh, he kind of made a little mistake there. I'm the blogger. Because Dave don't do stuff like that, but he's a blogger and he's all about the, the uh, small acts of kindness, or I call it gooderness. <laughs> and uh, so he's a riding instructor, which is true, Dave is. And, uh, stores like this is precise, precisely like why he rides. And by the way, that's why me and cousin Dave we like to go riding too. So here's a little note, and then uh, let's see. I think there's a comment here. Oh yeah, cousin Dave made a comment right here too. So, as here's Bubba. Yep, you said that right. Them small acts of kindness certainly create some great opportunities for connection to connecting and more goodness in the world. Yep. So uh, that's a that's a good old boy there, right there. I hope him well on his adventures uh, over in Mexico and gets it gets over safely and gets back safely. So, if y'all want to follow what he's doing, uh, you know, click on his little site there, Thomas. Tompkins, I guess is how you say that. And uh, tell him Bubba sent you, all right? 
<laughs> Y'all have a good one now. Boy, that's some goodness, huh? That's some goodness. Hey, I just want to say thank y'all for watching this little channel and let's together make the world gooder. Y'all subscribe now. Thank you. Hey, what are you still hanging around for? The, the movie's over. <laughs> oh, you just waiting to subscribe. <laughs> Go ahead, take care of that business, you know, so you don't miss the next one.